Chips and Les Paul from AliExpress versus the Latitude Les Paul from Amazon. Both made in China. Which one's going to come out on top? Let's find out. All right, guys, today I'm looking at my two Les Paul style guitars. I'm going to go over the features of each one, talk about each one. I'm going to play each one. I'll talk about what I like, what I don't like, how they're the same, how they're different. And in the very end, I'm going to tell you which one I like more. We're going to start with the Latitude model. You guys might remember that I did a review of this a few months ago on my channel. And at the time, I said it's a pretty darn good guitar. And I still stand by that statement. All right, so what can I say about this guitar? I mean, basically, it's a Gibson Les Paul copy but with a different headstock and a different name. The body shape is pretty much an exact copy of a Les Paul. Two humbuckers, two volumes, two tones, three-way toggle. One difference is that on the bridge here, the little saddles, they are roller saddles. Set neck design, 22 frets. The body and the neck are made of mahogany and the neck is rosewood. The frets are stainless steel. They're a little on the small side for my taste, uh, but one thing that's really cool about the frets, and if you've seen any of the reviews about Latitude or the Ert guitars, they're all the same deal. The ends of the frets are all rounded off, like before they install them, so you're never going to have any of those like sharp edges on the frets, so that's cool. It has chrome Grover style tuners, and the tuners are actually really good quality. They work really well. It's got a real bone nut, Cut really well, installed really well, no problems there. And like most of your Les Pauls, it's got the binding that goes all the way around the body and the neck. And of course, this is the cherry sunburst finish. And at the time that I got this a few months ago, I think they were selling for about $369 on Amazon. And it does have what is supposed to be like a flamed maple top. Um, it's not the greatest looking flame maple top. You know, you can kind of see the line a little too much in the middle, I think. And it's not like, I don't know, the flames are not real great. I mean, I think it looks pretty good, but I wouldn't say it looks fantastic. I don't know if that's a photo finish or if it's a veneer or what. I don't know. And the two humbuckers, they are PAF style pickups. Overall, good guitar, plays well. Definitely uh, excellent quality for the price that you would pay for one of these. And here we have the Chipson from AliExpress. Why do I say Chipson? Because it says Gibson on the headstock, but this is not a Gibson. It's a replica. It's a fake, whatever you want to call it. Made in China. Really nice guitar. I got this mm, two and a half years ago or so, and I think I paid $288 for it. So like the other one, of course, it's got the basic Les Paul shape set neck design, a lot of similarities to the Latitude Les Paul, you know, same kind of bridge, but it doesn't have the roller saddles, two volumes, two tones, three-way toggle, not the same pickups. These do not have the chrome covered pickups, and I think these pickups are a little bit brighter, a little bit hotter than the ones that are in the Latitude. Mahogany body, rosewood neck, 24 frets, and they're both the, uh, 24.75 scale. It's also got a really nice bone nut. They did a great job on that. This one also has the chrome Grover style tuners. And this one actually says Grover on the tuners, but they're, uh, they're not real Grovers. And on the back of the headstock, it does have a serial number and it does say made in the USA. But again, it was not made in the USA, it was made in China. And this one has the sunburst finish and it also has a flamed maple top but it's a much better top, looks much better than the one on the Latitude. This one has the pick guard, the other one doesn't. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play each of these guitars a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and talk about maybe what some differences are, or maybe some things that I don't like about each guitar, and then I will let you know which one I like better. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so what do I not like about the Latitude Les Paul? I had a harder time setting the action on this one. You know, when I got it, I would take the strings off, put on new strings, so I did that. And I think it came with tens. The gauge of strings were tens, and I like nines. So when you change like the gauge like that, um, it has an effect on the action. You know, you've gotta adjust the bridge because then the strings are sitting lower um, in the nut and on the saddles and stuff. So anyway, after I did that, I had a harder time getting the action on this one where it was like as low as I wanted it, but without any buzz. And so a little bit harder time with that. Um, I don't like that the frets are smaller. I do wish that the frets were bigger. And as I said before, you know, the, the flame maple top, it's, it's okay, but not spectacular. And one other thing, guys, I don't think you can even see it in the video. It's so small. There's like right here in the clear coat, there's the thinnest little like crack in the clear coat going right here. I mean, it's you can barely feel it, but like when you hold it up in the light to a certain angle, you can see the little tiny crack in the clear coat. It doesn't affect anything. It's not a crack in the wood. Doesn't affect the sound or the playability or anything, but it is there. Now on the Chibson, the AliExpress Les Paul, it does have a few finish flaws right here. You can see where kind of like the staining or whatever they did with the finish didn't quite go perfectly. Um, a little bit of like finish flaws right here on the bottom little horn or curve, whatever you call that. You know, it's not super noticeable because, you know, usually you're playing like this. And of course, if I look down, I can see it right there. It doesn't really bug me. I mean, for $288, this is actually really good guitar, plays great, sounds great. So I can't really complain about a little bit of minor finish flaw right there. And the only other thing I would say about this guitar is like the neck pickup right here. I don't know if you guys can even hear or see this. It's like... Can you see that? It's like wobbly. Uh, not a huge issue. It, next time I take off the strings, I can easily uh, take off the little pickup ring here, take off the pickup and use a bigger screw or wrap something around the screw and just try to make it more stable so it doesn't kind of wiggle back and forth, but really not a big issue. All right guys, so bottom line, you know, we've got two Les Paul copies here, both made in China. They could both be made in the same factory for all I know. The neck profiles are really similar. Neither of them have like a big, huge, chunky neck, which I'm happy about. Good guitars overall. And for the price of these, you know, you're really getting a good quality instrument for what you're paying. So who's the winner in this battle of Made in China Les Pauls? It is the Chipson from AliExpress. Not only does it look better, it's got a better flame maple top. I like the colors better. I like that it's got the little pick guard here, but it also has bigger frets. I had a much easier time doing the setup and getting the action right where I want it than when I was trying to set up the Latitude. It plays good for a Les Paul. Sounds good, the pickups are good. Comfortable, I like it. The neck is comfortable and it just looks so much better than the Latitude Les Paul. So in this battle of made in China Les Paul copies, AliExpress, Chipson, for the win. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.